This topic will cover um, how to find the area of a rhombus. Uh, this particular method or what they're looking for is um, how much do you know about a rhombus? Rhombus is, um, first of all, it does have all four congruent sides. Um, it's not a square though, it's kind of like a square that somebody squashed down a little bit. Um, and the other thing that you want to know about these particular types of problems is the diagonals, this here and this one here, they are um, cut in half, they're bisected by each other. So this section here equals this section here, and this um, segment equals this segment here. So let's look at what they gave us. The first thing they tell us is that AC is 30 centimeters. So that's the entire diagonal there, which is good to know. And then they tell us that the other diagonal, B to D, is 24 centimeters. So we know the area, we know the measurements of both diagonals. The reason why that's important is um, the formula for one of the formulas, sorry, for an area of rhombus is one half D1, D2. And the D1 just means your first diagonal, and D2 is your second diagonal. And it doesn't matter which order they go into the equation for. So to find the area, we're going to do one half times the first diagonal is 30. The second diagonal is 24, and all we have to do now is just follow the order of our operations. We are multiplying straight through, so 1 half of 30 is 15, and then I'm going to need my calculator because I do not know what 15 times 24 is off the top of my head. 15 times 24, and that is a number that I can't see because my calculator was off, 360. So the area of this here is going to be 360. Now what we need to realize is we need units. Area is like filling in a figure, so we're going to have centimeters squared. We multiply the two centimeters together, and that's why we have a centimeter squared. It doesn't mean you square the number again, it just means that the units are squared. Um, let's take another. Here's another rhombus, um, and then we want to look at what they have um, given us here. They told us that ED is 6 millimeters, so this one's a little bit different. This here is 6, and that means that this here is also 6. FD is 11 millimeters. So this guy here is 11. That also means that this here is 11. So if we go back to our area formula, we're going to have to figure out what our diagonals measure, but we have enough information. I like to mark up the picture like I did so that I can really see it. So the 1 half stays at 1 half. The diag we'll call this here diagonal 1, and the measure of the whole total, 6 plus 6, is going to give us 12. The other diagonal is this one here. 11 plus 11 is 22. So what we're going to do now is 1 half of 12 is going to be 6, and 6 times 22, 100, I feel like I should have known that. Our units have to be squared, and the units they gave us were in millimeters, so the final area. Um, for these um, problems, I'll just tell you, most people make mistakes because they're not reading or paying attention to the details. If they give you half of one of the diagonals, make sure you double it before you plug it in. Um, it's really kind of just drawing it out or kind of marking up the picture. Most people are pretty visual when it comes to geometry, so marking up the picture with the numbers that they gave you can be a big help. So, all right, talk soon.